How to use ADP Run Payroll? Hello, everybody, and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ADP Run Payroll. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So basically, what I'm going to show you today is how you can sign in here into payroll. Be careful because this is not a software to everybody. I mean, I guess you now have a company, have a business with a lot of employees and you need the process in order to pay them. That's it. Okay. And to pay some taxes if you need to. So here I'm going to show you how you can contact with an ADP service. So I'm going into the web page, the homepage adp.com. And this is their logo. So you here you can check in the hum how it's gonna be the software. Okay. And you can start managing and paying your people. Has never been easier. That's that's true. This is a great software. But by now, because I don't have a big company, as you can see, from one to forty-nine employees, this is the small package that you can apply. Okay. And there are a lot of features, so the payroll, HR services, time and attendance, professional employee organization, retirement. Even with that, they they have the retirement in mind. The insurance, workers, comp, and business tax credits. So if perhaps, perhaps you have a business. I mean, perhaps you have you run a business around 25 people, 30 people, but you're not paying this. Perhaps you are just paying uh, for their services, not for everything, even retirement and, I don't know, social payments. So if you want to get in contact with ADP is because you are willing to pay all these features to your employees, okay? So I'm going to continue to scroll down and okay. Basically, what you can do is to get started is to fill this data and a sales contact is going to be with you in a few minutes, I guess, and they're going to talk to you how this is going to be. Because as you can see, I don't have even any prizes. I just can start a quote. And for that, as you can see, your current client, your needs, company info and your info. So. I'm going to show you the process. Does your company or employer currently use ADP? So I'm going to click on no. Which service are you interested in today? So let's suppose I'm willing to pay the insurance and the retirement and the payroll in order to pay them. Now the company info. So you must do fill the zip code, the number of employees, the name of the company and the email of the company. And the last but not less important, your own info. But now I'm not going to fill this. And I suppose you already know what they are going to ask you in your info, like your name, your last name, your mobile number, email, and so on. Because by now I'm not going to be able to show you this. They are going to study your company if you really need it. And when they have studied that, they're going to be in touch with you to sell you the ADP software, to let you know all the packages and what is better for you. And I guess it depends on the income that your business has done over the last months or year. Okay, here we have another ADP website that is going to explain a lot better what you're gonna need in the future as well. So I'm going to start from here. Paying an employee isn't as simple as just writing a check. Sometimes, yes, but not if you want to do the stuff as it is. So the government requires you to put together several payroll documents ahead of time for tax purposes and other employee responsibilities. As part of our celebration, okay, I'm not going to continue with this. So this is the data that the checklist of documents you need before you can hire employee number one. So if you're willing to make this process and to finish it until the end, so you need the employer identification number, 
the state or local the tax ID number, state unemployment ID number, employee addresses and SSNS. This could vary depending on your country. Because in my country, for instance, we don't have these forms, the I-9, the WV-4, we don't have that. But what else? Probably the Department of Labor, the Workers' Compensation ID number, and so on. Just for the, the USA, you are going to need all these documents in order to use payroll. If you don't have this checklist of documents, there's anything to do here. You are not going to use this and payroll is not for you. So that's it. Um, I want to show you too who they serve. The business size, obviously the industry. So they specialized with restaurant, manufacturing, professional and technical services, construction, financial services, retail, healthcare, government and non-profit social services. This is cool too. And their partners, they have accountants, brokers. This could be useful too with this new movement of tokens and cryptocurrencies and so on. Um, private equity, franchises, member organizations. Okay, and so, so uh, continue. You can open this and check all their partners and and more like, I don't know, software providers. I would like to check these brokers because this, this is like important to me. Okay, there, there are like some of the businesses that have worked with them previously. And by now I don't have more examples. But as you can see, it's always partnered with us, partnered with ADP. But... This requires a previous study if you want to be part of ADP role. And let me check about ADP. Because the worldwide locations are important if you are interested in becoming of part of the family of ADP. So they have, um, like, uh, there was number. Let me check again. 140 countries, yes. And they have, for instance, in America, Zingila, Antigua y Barbuda, Bermuda, British Virgin Islands. Okay, there's my country, so I can contact them. But perhaps there is a country like, let me see if I can think of a country. No, I think, I think all Latin America is there. Yeah, so this is really wide in its services, even Europe, Middle East, and Africa. So you can check here if there is your country, and obviously in my case, Colombia, you can find the local services and the multinational services if you're interested in, and obviously to talk with them if you're interested. So you are not going to be worried again to pay to your, I mean, to all these documents and form and taxes and procedures that, no, you're going to summarize all that with ADP Payroll. This is a wonderful software, but as I've said, this is not for everyone. But that's it. So this is how you can use ADP Payroll. Payroll. These are the basics. So I hope you are interested in this software. Thanks for watching.